Welcome everybody. We want to thank you for taking time to watch this video that we hope will inform you as you learn about the various things that are going to be changed as you are coming back to church. I want to thank our COVID task force committee for working very hard to make sure that everything is arranged according to the Metropolis guidelines. All of these things are being put in place for your safety as you come back to church and to uh, and to worship. So we know that things are going to feel uh, different, sometimes a little bit uncomfortable because these are not the ways that we're we're used to coming to this place that feels so much like our home. Um, but in this time, for this time period, um, we need to, uh, you know, we need to behave in this way. And so we, uh, we just ask your, your patience and your cooperation as you return back to church. I'm standing here because this is the door and this is the place where you're going to um, enter into the, into the parish for the first time. And um, we'll be go going through this video to give you some um, information about various steps along the way so that you'll be familiar with those, uh, those steps as you're coming back to church. Please uh, take time to read thoroughly all the information that is going to be coming out about uh, the, uh, the guidelines, the things that we expect of you, um, and the things that will be happening you know, here in church so that you're familiar with those things. If you have any questions, please contact the office. We're happy to answer any questions that you have in your preparation for coming back to church. And now, as, uh, as we go in, I'm going to put on my face mask, and that's how we're going to be asking everybody to, to wear face masks during the, during the church services, again, and while you're in the building, again, to make sure that everyone is safe and healthy. Uh, God bless you, and we look forward to seeing those of you who, who make that decision to come back to church in this early um, phase of reopening. God bless you. When you come into church, expect to greet us at the checkpoint. You'll be taking your, your temperature with an infrared te uh, temperature thermometer right here at the forehead. As long as your temperature is under 99 degrees, you'll be welcome to our church community. At this time, we have Purell that you can Purell your hands with, and we're going to ask you to come into the building, and we will direct you where to go next. At this time, we would like you to make sure that you observe all the precautions noted here on the door following our Archdiocese guidelines. When you come to church, the drinking fountains will not be available. However, the bathrooms will be open for your use. At this time, we encourage you to wash your hands well upon leaving the bathroom and Purell dispensers will be located throughout the building. One of them will be right outside the doors here and the bathrooms will be clean on a regular basis to ensure your safety. When you come in to the candle area, please note the markings on the floor that are separated by six feet. Please observe them as you approach the candle stand, whereby an usher will hand you a candle. You are to receive the candle and place the exact change in the tray, as change will not be made at this time. Any large candles that you want to be taken into the church will be taken in by the ushers. Upon receiving your candle, you're going to note the arrows that are marked on the floor. There is one way entering into the narthex and one arrow going out. Please observe those signs. When you approach, the candle stand, you're going to light your candle. And when you go to venerate the icon, please observe the safety tape in the, on the floor. You'll make a reverent bow and do your cross. Please avoid touching the icon or kissing it. Once you finish venerating the icon, an usher will direct you into the church and will show you where you may sit. Just a few words on how the seating is arranged here in the church for everyone's uh, social distancing. The side sections, as you can see, are marked off every other pew. And we are asking families, you have to be in the same household, with four or more persons are asked to sit in these pews on the sides. Then if you look at the center section, you can see again every other pew is marked off for seating. The pew will be have a space for one person and then a space for three people or two people on the other side. So we ask you to sit in the places where there is no tape. Do not sit on the taped spots. That rec represents the uh, six foot social distancing. Some of the pews will have a one person on this side 
Some of the pews have the one person on the middle, and the ushers will direct you in terms of where you need to come to, uh, to find your seat. As you approach for communion, we'll ask you to keep your masks on until you are waiting either on this side, on the right, or on the left to come to the center and receive Holy Communion. Then as you're ready to approach, you can remove your mask. We'll ask you to approach with your hands crossed over your chest. This is just making sure that uh, your hands aren't going to touch the chalice or the, uh, the communion cloth. And then you will come up and we'll ask you to, we'll, we'll have a demonstration of this in just a moment. We'll ask you to tip your head back and open your mouth very wide. And then we will take the Holy Communion from the chalice and drop it onto your, onto your tongue. So this will, the spoon will not be uh, touching any, any part of you. And that way you will also not need to touch the communion cloth because there will be nothing on your lips that uh, require you to, um, to wipe your lips. Once you finish, you'll turn around and you can receive your indidero that will be in the tray um, in, the, uh, in the aisle. Rolling. So we'll ask you to tilt your head back, open your mouth, and then we will drop that in. Then we're going to ask you to return to your pew by the center aisle. You received communion, or you received andidro, and then after you've consumed your andidro, then you can replace your mask on your way back to your completion of services. Father will direct you to get your andidro. We ask that you keep your mask on and take your andidro and eat it in your car. You will follow the arrows and the directions of the ushers as you leave the church. Upon leaving the church, you will look at the arrows that are marked in the carpet and follow the direction of the arrows. There will be no congregating or social activities after church. We ask you to go directly to your car. Please note the arrows as they go through the atrium doors and you will go out the exit to the Sunday school building, just as you came in. Notice the arrows in the carpet as they direct you out of the building, down the steps, and proceed to your car. We thank you for your cooperation and assistance on our road back to opening up our church.